You want to play it like I got these? What we're going to do now, we're going to do a recipe called Salmon Dave that was uh, suggested to me by uh, Mr. Skunk Baxter, formerly of the Doobies, formerly of Steely Dan. He's not here right now, unfortunately. We will have him in a later cooking we show. Those guys over. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this small king, this baby king. It's probably a, it's probably a hatchery king. Uh, you can tell because the fish and game they clip the, uh, the tail. To let you know that this is not a, uh, this is not a silver or any of the other endangered species which we have in California right now, which have a moratorium on them because they've been endangered. So we see that this is a far probably from the Nimbus Fish Hatchery up by Lake Natomas, a place where I used to go when I was a kid. And uh, what we're going to do here now is we're going to fillet this out, and we're going to debone it. to sip on a little cone on this? <laughs> fillet, and it's done. We have a fillet. You see that fillet? Of salmon. There it is. A beautiful fillet of salmon, I might Okay, add. now, what we're going to do now, is we take the pliers, and the pliers, well, usually you'd have needle nose pliers with these in sushi bread, but we're very happy to have these fine chrome and lime handled pliers, which we will go through. We're going to grab the ribs one at a time at the top and pull. See? And the rib comes out. The I'm going to, you know, cauliflower. Garlic. Oh, here we go. We're yeah. back to the sausage. Mm -hmm. Now, this, of course, is Peterson. Salmon Peterson a la Galactica. Yes. And as you can see over here, we're, it's very similar to the last show where we've uh, uh, used uh, butter and olive oil. Butter and olive oil. Lemon and, juice. And the crushed and uh, the desiccated garlic, which of course at this point at low temperature will completely start to evaporate into the sauce. Exactly. And that's exactly what we want. And also we have some beautiful broccoli here. Yeah, I will say that that is beautiful broccoli. Yes. And uh, what we're going to do is steam that and then use the sauce from this for a saute after the salmon juice has been in there we'll pull the fillets out and then we'll have sauce but excellent we're going to steam this first excellent and there you have it we'll be back in a minute thank you very much sure. the veranda in a minute we'll take some real good shots all right right over here yep besides the wonderful wayne shorter that we're listening to we're going to be making a wonderful salmon collar cut here a proper collar cut which will and allow us to have a, a a collar not unlike what you would get in a sushi bar. Okay, what we've done is we've cut up the back side of the cheeks, removed most of the meat from the head. It's, it's kind of hard to get all of it, you know, you'd have to like get real creative with the, uh, you know, with the ah! meat. We can find magic meat. Right now we have Chef Paul Perdome's magic seasoning with the fillets, and uh, it was actually uh, an excellent way to get the butter, olive oil, and garlic all together into a nice sort of melange. And what we're doing is we're uh, putting this now on the boneless, skinless filet with the garlic chunks. And we're massaging it into the meat slowly and carefully so as not to make the flavor overshadow the delicate fresh freshness of the salmon itself. So just a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic. And the secret of the grocery store, you've seen this stuff, right? Liquid smoke, okay? Oh, we're looking there. We'll put that in later because we don't want to put it in too soon because we don't want to tickle selection today. We have Finest Newborn Jr., a wonderful keyboard player from Memphis, Tennessee, that uh, started out in uh, Luther Steinberg's band. Luther Steinberg is just how so happens to be my father-in-law. And uh, we're watching him here with a wonderful... Uh, Wonderful trio. Just listen to the fine sounds of finest yeah. newborn. Three in the Back to our cooking show. Let's find out what's going on to the in the kitchen. Well, I just cleaned up that last fish, and uh, what we're going to do is give it to Kent Rennell so they can pull out steaks as they want. Right. Know, the technique of uh, sucking the air out of the bag. Can, can we can we see those fillets there? Absolutely. Yeah. This is the final. Oh, look at that! The final fillets. one. Yes, beautiful king salmon from the San Francisco. And you better go over and get a little smell-o-vision over here. Our steaks are looking. Ah, okay. We'll come around here to the. Uh, 
Come around here to the Hi, how you doing? Another wonderful keyboard player here that has migrated from the uh, great Midwest and has come out here to uh, find his fame and fortune playing the, uh, the wonderful it's Steinways. All the Midwest without me, unfortunately. The wonderful Steinways of San Francisco. <laughs> Who does this smell remind us of, Billy? <laughs> Somebody from Minneapolis Excellent. reminds us of. It looks wonderful. Ooh. Excellent. Excellent. Very similar to the Salmon Garlactica Peterson that was served uh, with trout up in our last fishing show up in Oregon State with Jaybird Coder. Okay. Over here we have the steaming broccoli. The Ooh. steaming broccoli. Uh, the horrible vortex is sucking the uh, vegetables down into the uh, the flavor uh, flavor hurricane of uh, wonderful delights. Right now we're getting a parmesan. He actually got some. Asiago. Oh, different. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We can put a little of that on the on the thing. And down here, I just happen to know where the grater is. Beautiful. Okay, and uh, see, we have the wonderful uh, San Francisco sourdough here, which we will do in the similar fashion we did in our last show, which was to suck up the juices from the Garlactica pan and, uh, yes, complement that with this wonderful Italian cheese. Yeah, actually, actually, and, and what actually kind of cheese is that again? Asiago. Asiago. Boy, it sounds like a song. Speaking of a song, let's find out what Finest is doing. Lush light. Lush light. Why is going to play Lush light? How do you get any better than that? Get the intro to Lush life here. We'll lay down here, and in a moment we will transfer the bread soaked in the juice a la Galactica with the Asiago on top, and that will be our wonderful bread accompaniment to this meal. Back in a moment. The bread, as you can see, we've laid it on top of the plates as we did in the last show. This time we got a little more sauce than usual, so it's working out really well. What we're going to do is soak up the sauce into here and then put the Asiago sprinkle on top and then stick that on top of the broiler on top of the fish because that's the way we do it. Yeah, that's a real neat effect. I Come back in a moment. That's where they invert the negative. Yeah, what? Filet as it's in its final stages of roast aroma. We're going to take the bread now and sprinkle cheese and put it on top to broil it because we're, we're moving fast here. We've got a big show to do today. Um, the salmon a la Galactica coming on with the broccoli spears now. And, uh, Is they're that too good for a starter for everybody? Coming on with uh, plate. That, that'd be fine. We also have the... Uh, you got to have pepper and salt. Pepper and salt. That can go... Who's this? this? What, was the, what, what was the name of this, the alternate name for this dish you came up with? What's that? The alternate name for this dish you came well, up with? Not Salmon, salmon Rush Tea. Salmon Shannon salmon, Evening. Salmon Shannon Evening. Salmon Shannon Evening. Salmon Shannon Evening. Salmon Evening here? Yes. I mean, I put a little Cajun uh, spice on there, but I think it's so delicate. And besides, we are going to be feeding a, a, a wonderful lady who is not here today, Renell who is not, uh, unfortunately not here, she's working, and paying for all this. You know what? <laughs> that Asiago makes this bread. Yeah? So, uh, is it happening? Killing? So we're going to call this Salmon Shannon Evening. This is Salmon Shannon Evening. <laughs> Instead of Salmon Days. Thank, uh, that's uh, Steve Pollard. Right. Wasn't that Steve? That was, that, that was his, that was his <laughs> idea. Very good idea. Very good Excellent. idea, man. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to the dining table in just a moment. This chick's name. Rhonda? Carmen Veranda. How's your how's your fish there? The Carmen Horse. Is the fish good? Salmon Chanted. Salmon Salmon Chanted Evening. Okay. We have garlic Garlactica and Salmon Chanted Evening. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, that's a hell of a flavor. We thank. We thank the Lord for this meal and we thank the Lord for our gifts as musicians as we go into the future. And we take these things with us, and we we have our prosperity and our wonderful gifts that have been given to us. God bless America. Okay, thank you for letting us have lunch with you, Jazz Lunch, today with uh, our Salmon Show. And uh, what we're going to do <laughs> is sign off now, and we'll roll credits over this, and uh, we'll see you on the next show when we come back from uh, whatever gig it's going to be. Who knows? Wherever it takes you, just remember the fishing musician is there to satisfy your every whim and culinary delight. This is the, <laughs> this is the
This is 3D smell-o-vision. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>